We talk a lot on the show about the Florida Keys Outreach Coalition. Now, I personally can't say enough good things about this amazing organization. I've had the pleasure of talking with some former clients who have walked through their doors and were given second chances because of the Outreach Coalition. This morning we're going to talk with the Supportive Service Director, Stephanie Capel. Stephanie, thank you for being back on the show with me today. Thank you for having me mm -hmm. on, Jenna. All right, Stephanie, now I mentioned that I've talked with a lot of mm -hmm. clients or former clients of the Outreach Coalition and I think every single one, Stephanie, has mentioned your name. They've said how much of an impact you personally have had on them. Stephanie, what exactly is your role with the coalition? Well, I have to say it, it's flattering, but those clients equally have an impact on me. Uh, my role is um, case management, working with the clients, but then also making sure that all of their services are being taken care of, that they're getting the life skills necessary, um, that they're you know meeting the goals and the program that we have for them that's helping them finding housing, employment, so that they're moving forward. And so my role is to make sure that they're meeting their goals and I'm really it's, it is supportive that's what I'm doing I'm just supporting them and it's truly their efforts mm -hmm. and I'm sure it's got to be it's got to be rewarding to see them you know walk out the door mm -hmm. start their life but then isn't it kind of sad sometimes you get an attachment to some well it is you know sometimes it's hard but it's also great then you know you're being the grocery store you know you hear Miss Stephanie and you know the kids are run up to you and see you again you know I see them in the parking lot and I'm telling them like I remember when you were a baby and now they're walking mm -hmm. so it's exciting you know we, we don't really lose contact with our clients you know we still see them around and they stop in or shoot us emails and it's really nice to have that continuation to see them continue to do well. Now Stephanie since you've been with the organization I know you've had to see it grow so much over the years. I mean you guys are improving and expanding it seems yeah. every day. Well it's, I feel like we're really not letting something be a barrier to our clients success if we see a challenge we're just like okay but well, that's not really you know that's not the type of client we thought we serve like single fathers. Mm -hmm. At one time we didn't offer housing for single fathers however we've been able to meet that need as it's come up and same with intact families and now even offering some permanent housing so we've not just kind of stopped and said this is what we do and we're only going to do this we've looked at the issues and said what can we do to make these issues resolve faster how can we help our clients move forward great now Stephanie you actually have a busy week right now we do <laughs> You're we very do busy, you know <laughs> personally tell us about some of the things you have going on well this Friday we have two fundraising events going on the first will be at the bottle cap and that's from five to eight and that's our top shelf cooking contest it is a food pantry cooking contest challenge where our chefs will only be cooking with non-perishable food items for the shelf stable life uh, life of at least one year and we will have um, you'll be able to sample those as well as um, that, that day with, with a donation. Mm -hmm. So it's a really great opportunity to come out, try some food, get some new creative ideas for recipes, but also support the Loaves and Fish Food Pantry, which FKOC has um, had now for 13 years. Mm -hmm. And that's a partnership with the Episcopal Church of Southeast, um, of Southeast Florida, and they've contributed well over $150,000 to services, direct food services food, personal hygiene items, baby diapers that are in our food pantries and go out to our community members. Great. And now, Stephanie, are these food pantries only for the homeless? No, actually, that's a huge misconception. A lot of the people that we serve through our food pantries are just food insecure, is what they call it. About 19% of South Floridians don't have enough food. Um, that equals about 950,000 just in South Florida. So us being in South Florida that's clearly a big issue for us and we see a lot of families coming in that are housed but they're not able to cover all of their expenses and foods becoming one of their last resources um, we see these folks come up on their bikes by foot so it's really important to have community food pantries and mm -hmm. our partnership with the Episcopal Church of Southeast Florida has really allowed us to offer community locations. We have one on Patterson Avenue at 2221 Patterson, and then one on um, St. Peter's Church in the 800 block of Center Street. Mm -hmm. And both of those will be expanding with the money that we raise uh, Friday evening. Great, and those are two prime locations. Yes, two they are, where folks can get to easily. And that's, that's a key thing, you know, we need to have 
food pantries in our community that are easily accessible for those who are in need. Right, and those who don't have a car. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. So, and after the bottle cap, we also have our dinner at Square One. If you mm -hmm. haven't made reservations for that, you need to call today and get those reservations made because when you mention FKOC, 20% of your entire check is going to be donated to FKOC that night. Awesome. So the Loaves and Fish Food Pantry, I think, is going to have a great evening on Friday. It absolutely will. So make your plans right now. And again, all the money that's raised on mm -hmm. Friday is going right back to the Outreach Coalition. Yes, to the Loaves and Fish Food Pantry. We're going to stock those shelves, and we're going to have more shelves to stock, and that's okay. going to be a great thing for us. Wonderful. Well, Stephanie, thank you for coming on. And I, I will definitely be getting you back on again soon because you guys – have a lot of expansion going <laughs> we on. Do we do have a lot happening discuss. right now. <laughs> All right. I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.